Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation on the Chinese characters stroke order uh, in Chinese characters. Uh, there are several rules that apply to writing Chinese characters. You can't write them um, starting anywhere you like and writing the strokes in the order you like. You need to write them at a specific order. Uh, apart from the fact that um, it is just a rule that needs to be observed, the characters will look much better when you write them in the order that they are supposed to be written in. And uh, so I will try to explain to you the eight most basic rules on these six characters for writing, uh, for writing Chinese characters. So the first rule that you need to observe is that you need to write characters from starting at the top and proceeding towards the bottom. So. The simplest way to show you this is use, to use the character for uh, for the number three, which is this one, and you just write it like this. First you stop, start with the top stroke, proceed with the stroke in the middle, and you finish um, with the bottom stroke. So you're basically going from top to bottom. And this is pretty straightforward, this is pretty simple, and I guess you would probably do this uh, without me even having to tell you that. But the thing is that there are some um, more complicated characters that consist of elements that are um, sort of arranged in the same manner. You have a top element and you have a bottom element and this rule writing from top to bottom applies also to these elements so you first have to write the top element start it finish it and then proceed to the bottom element start it and finish it. The second rule uh, for writing Chinese characters, um, a very basic one as well, is that you have to first start on the left side and then continue to the right side. So I'll show you on this character how you do it. You first start with the left side and you, you then continue on the right side. And again, so just to show you the arrow, um, again this applies not only to individual strokes within characters but also to whole elements within characters because there are some characters that are arranged in exactly this manner where you have an element a complete element on the left side and a complete element on the right side so what you have to do is first you have to start the element on the right side finish it and only then proceed to the element uh, on the right side an extra rule that applies to writing chinese characters is that horizontal strokes have priority over vertical strokes vertical strokes so what you have to do is you first write the horizontal stroke and then the vertical stroke no matter if they're crossing of course if they're crossing no matter where in the uh, character they are found another rule that applies to writing Chinese characters is that if there is a stroke like this one which is sort of separating or dividing the character into two equal parts as we see over here it comes first and only then are the sides um, written because you might think when you see this character over here based on the rule that we have uh, based on this rule so which says that you have to start on the left side and proceed to the right side you might think that you have to write it in in this order Let me show you one two and three but that is that is not how you write this uh, particular character or characters that are written like this you first start with the stroke that is separating the character into two parts two sections and then you finish off with the two sides. I can show you actually two rules on this fifth character over here. Um, the first rule is that if you have a character like this where you have an outside part and you have an inside part of the character, you have to first start with the outside part and then continue in the inside part uh, and finish it. Uh, this is actually very straightforward on this particular character because it is it is very obvious that it has an outside part and inside part. There are some more complicated characters that where it's not very obvious that that it, it is the same type of a character which is separated into the outside part and the inside part. But nevertheless, you have to do the same thing. You first have to start and finish the outside section, then proceed to the inside section and finish that one. Uh, also, this particular character, there is another rule that applies to it, and that is that horizontal closing strokes, such as this one and this one, have to come last. So they are the last in closing the element. So when we start over here, one, two, I can't finish it off yet because I have the rule says that I, I have to um, close the character with the horizontal stroke last. So since I can't close it because it's not finished, I have to go into the inside element. I can close this one and then I can close this one. So this is the second rule that applies to this particular character and to a lot of different characters. And on this last character over here, which is quite complicated and it happens to mean I or me and it's pronounced wo, um, there are two rules, two basic rules that I can show you on this one. So the first rule is that um, as with many characters, you have to start and 
uh, sort of like top left and proceed through the character towards the bottom right so in this direction and might not look so obvious but when I write this character um, in, a, in, in a regular uh, speed so one two three four five six seven so you can see basically that I was making my way through the character slightly in this direction so that's what you have to do you have to generally start top left and finish in bottom right and I mean I did this also with this character for instance because I started over here one two three and I started over here and I did the same thing over here I started over here one two and I started over here same thing this is the highest left lefternmost point of the character so I did one two and this is the lowest lefternmost of the character so it's always this sort of this um, direction of the strokes and also in this one you when you do this character over here you start over here and you finish over here and the last thing when it comes to this particular character is that if in this section of the character happens to be a dot stroke this one dn it comes last no matter if it is if it is located here or here or here if it is in this section it always comes last because as i told you the last rule said that we have to start top left and finish uh, bottom right but this stroke since since it's it's a tian, a dot stroke and it is in this section of the character it comes last and it is written as last so there you go i hope you enjoyed this presentation uh, i hope you found it useful and uh, i will see you in the next video